urolithiasis, commonly referred to as kidney stones or renal calculi, occurs when stones form within the urinary tract. Nephrolithiasis refers to stones in the kidney, while urolithiasis refers to stones in the ureters. The condition often causes severe, intermittent flank or abdominal pain that may radiate to the groin or lower abdomen, as well as hematuria, dysuria, and urgency. Patients may also exhibit pallor, diaphoresis, tachycardia, anxiety, nausea, and vomiting due to severe pain. The pathophysiology of urolithiasis involves the crystallization of substances in the urine such as calcium, oxalate, uric acid, cysteine, or phosphate. Risk factors include insufficient fluid intake, high dietary mineral content, repeated urinary tract infections, anatomical abnormalities in the urinary tract, and family history. Diagnostic tests for urolithiasis include urinalysis to detect blood, crystals, or infection, and a 24-hour urine collection to measure urine components. Imaging studies like non-contrast CT scans or X-rays are used to locate and characterize stones. Treatment for urolithiasis focuses on symptom management, stone passage, and prevention of recurrence. Medications include NSAIDs or opioids for pain relief, alpha blockers like tamsulosin to relax ureter muscles, and IV fluids to maintain hydration. Shock wave lithotripsy and ureteroscopy are procedures used to break up or remove stones, whereas percutaneous nephrolithotomy is used to remove larger stones. Nursing interventions focus on pain management, facilitating stone passage, and preventing complications. Pain management includes analgesics as well as non-pharmacological methods like heat application, repositioning, and ambulation. Stress management techniques and antiemetic administration may also be necessary. Nurses strain urine to collect stones for analysis and educate patients on adequate hydration and dietary modifications. Patient education is crucial for preventing recurrence. Nurses instruct clients to drink sufficient fluids, avoid high oxalate foods, reduce sodium and animal protein intake, and effectively manage their stress levels. Specific dietary modifications are recommended based on the type of stone present. The overall goals in evaluating nursing interventions include achieving pain relief, restoring normal urinary function, and promoting lifestyle changes to prevent recurrence. Nurses monitor progress toward these goals and revise the nursing care plan accordingly.